Hey, welcome to CIT. Uh, this is Omar, and today I'm going to show you how to do beginner practice scenario number three in TaxWise Online. Um, if so, if you want to go ahead and pull that up, it's going to be under the beginner scenario inside the video training under practice returns. So for this return, uh, both taxpayers have forms W-2. They have interest income to report. All three received health insurance for the year through the employee through the uh, taxpayer's employer. Uh, they've attended college, paid uh, 400 in interest for student loan, uh, and also paid dependent care expenses. And finally, they also select their PIN and routing number and all that information. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this return. So we'll go into TaxWise Online, start a new return, and start creating the social. As you can see, I'm just going with um, the first three digits, that, which is 103 scenario 13, and then I'm finishing off with the last numbers that I have. So let's go to tax forms. Um, okay, I can't use this one, so we're going to put four. If you've done the return before, it will not allow you to create. Um, the same return. All right, Richard. Maybe falling joint status. Now we do have a dependent, which is uh, Christopher Johnson. So we'll go ahead and type in November. We'll try to go too fast here, son. Oh, shall I live with you. We're gonna have to pen it. I'm selecting you file only for this return because uh, we're still at a point where Republic is not available. Uh, got my pen in here. So the taxpayer requested a pen of. In this balance. And now we should be complete with the main info sheet. Still some red, so I went back to double check and it looks like I was missing today's date. All right, now we're in, we're in green. Next step is we'll go ahead and key in the W2 for Richard. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to get click the plus, hit the W2 button, uh, let me key in the W2, same address, employer ID. It pulled up the information from the EIN number. And now DD. 12. That does it for the W2.
still in red, probably need to specify that it's for Richard. Let's go ahead and add another one. This is going to be for Karen. Ideas. And that does it for her W2. Now, now we have interest income. Taxable interest is 145.71, and that does it. Don't have to key in the entire 1098T. Next one is uh, a 1098 INT, I apologize. Uh, next one is the uh, education credits, and for that one, we are going to load the education worksheet. And it's education credit page two is where I want to be. And I key in the information exactly from the W uh, enrolled half time at, according to box 8 so let's double check here uh, she paid 150 for textbook in addition to her uh, 1098T reports so we're gonna add the 150 to the 2145, so it's only 2250.45. And that completes the 8863. Let's go to page one and click no on that one. Next part is going to be the ACA. Let's go ahead and save that. They haven't, they bought it through the employer, no exemptions, had minimum coverage, chop tax credit. We have a red in here, we double check the withholding. Now we have a dependent care expense for Bright Stars Daycare. And they do have an EIN, and the EIN is 2453, and the amount paid was 1540. 1540. Next is the EIC worksheet.
now we're green now the last part is to do the 8867 which is the due diligence again you want to make sure you follow the rules with this we're just doing a practice return to show you how to complete this return and primarily enter the correct uh, the information properly just so you can understand how the software works Okay, and now as you can see, everything is in green. The return is complete. Uh, we can take a look at the summary. And then we can take a look. The only reason the price sheet is not all in green is because I have not filled in all the information here for my pricing. And it really isn't going to stop you from completing the return. But that's how you complete scenario number three. We have uh, entered a w uh, multiple W-2s. We put the interest income reported to health care coverage, entered educational credit, entered student loan interest, report child independent care expenses, claimed EIC, and completed the e-file information. If you have any questions on this return, please let us know. Thank you.